Wuthering Waves is an incoming gacha game that will rival those of Genshin Impact and that of its nature within its space already. Lots of people think this is the case and it's hard to make an opposing statement against it when it looks as fantastic as it does. However, will it really make an impact? Wuthering Waves has been met with a ton of support from fans across the globe. From already popular gacha game, Punching Grey Raven Maker, this is a game that once took us, you know, the gacha space by storm, but then it fell off pretty hard, pretty fast. Though, I feel like the game itself is pretty fun and looks incredible with its combat mechanics, it was just missing the love from the community. So, Punishing Grey Raven just wasn't popularized enough like Genshin was where it reached the mainstream media and a lot of normal people started playing the game not technically gamers or whatever and that's how it sort of went out of the niche but because Punishing Grey Raven was just set in stone and its little niche wasn't comprised of too many other diehard fans it just made the game a little hard to survive within its own two feet not saying that it's not a successful game, probably still is. However, it's not as big as they wanted it to be. So now they are creating a new game by the name of Wuthering Waves. And it looks pretty good. Wuthering Waves looks much similar to a game like Genshin Impact, where they sort of drew the inspiration from the open world aspect, how it looked from Breath of the Wild looking art style. It just looks very similar, the mechanics are the same, so I would say it drew pretty much all of the inspiration from those two games, mainly of course Breath of the Wild. Now it seems others will follow suit with how popular the game has become, I'm talking about Genshin Impact, it just makes sense. Now the thing is with Weathering Waves is that it already looks great, whilst it being in the closed beta stages and I hope I get in by the way just so I can make potential affirmations on the game just to confirm if it's good or not and it's kind of hard not to like this game from the face value already. A gotcha similar to Genshin but you guarantee the weapon no matter what making their banner system infinitely better than Genshin already. Source that they drew the inspiration from already a massive improvement full-fledged open world not to mention with beautiful scenery and not to mention the characters that bring the game to life they look absolutely incredible though not all of them are polished they are improving on them as we speak from feedback from the community and they have shown that they do listen to content creators as of now for the matter I and mean, at the very least to sort of help them out getting situated with with what fans expect this game to be at this state. There are characters that look very similar to those that we have seen in the Final Fantasy series and I'm talking about Sephiroth. Yeah, there's a character that has a massive blade that's like Sephiroth, looks like Sephiroth with the silver hair, the long hair, and the coat just absolutely looking like a Chad. And I hope that he's obtainable pretty quick Also, I'm gonna get restless. Come on now. We want to get that character. Everybody does. Now, it already seems that the game has the potential to become great. They have the correct aspects. They know what they want. They're improving on the gacha system. Listening to content creators. Now, they need is to absolutely stick to the script. And I hope that the game itself has rewards that are pretty plentiful. So you don't feel like it's a chore trying to get something done. Because that is probably the worst part. From the whole universe games, just, it kind of just feels like a chore to get commissions done, log in, and that sort of thing. Hopefully they eliminate that aspect from the game. And also, add a skip button. If you add a skip button, the game is going to be infinitely better. Forget about the content hours that you might be providing through non-skipping. Just make it a skip button. Everybody loves the skip button. Add it, okay? Now, game has potential to become great. You don't want it to be like a chore. Daily login commissions, get rid of that. Just give the reward as soon as you log in and skip button. That is what I feel like it needs in order for it to be successful. Lastly, please, please, please forget about the artifact system that Genshin has, okay? Find a 
artifact system that you, that, you know, the game The Wuthering Wave just fits better with because the randomness is a lot in Genshin Impact, as well as, you know, games like Honkai Star Rail as well. It's a little less, you know, wicked as Genshin, but they still consume so much of your resources that it feels like it's so hard to build one simple character when you're just starting off the game. So hopefully they do something about that, at least I think it will be a little bit of a nice. You need to make this game nice and simple and have it be effective and efficient if they want this game to be run how they want it to be, how the fans want it to be. There's a lot of call to action, but since the game is still being developed, these types of things must be mentioned to create the change that we want to see. Obviously, the game's still new, it, it looks absolutely great. Uh, I, I did react to a few videos. And I'm going to show you it at the end of this video. Maybe you guys want to see that as well. That'd be pretty awesome. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I am interested to see what you guys think as well. Is it going to compete against the Hoyoverse Master Lord? I don't know. All right, we're going to be reacting to the Wuthering Waves close beta. I'm, not, I'm guessing this is two. Gameplay trailer, Awakening a World Reborn. So, yeah. All right, let's see it. Let's see it. Oh. The sounds are a little unusual. Ooh. Wait. They are cooking. This looks pretty good. Looks like a similar game I've seen before. Very similar game. Okay. Yo! Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. This is, this is just reverse Black Swan. That's what I see. <laughs> That is cool. Also looks like that one character from Fate. You know you know. Archer, right? He definitely looks like Archer. <laughs> that is sick. Whoa. Some of the characters. Sephiroth? We've got Sephiroth in here. Archer and Sephiroth. Alright. It just looks sick. The gameplay actually looks sick. Obviously, it's not the final look of the game. It's probably some CGI in there. Ah, oh, there's Sephiroth. <laughs> He's got the long sword too, like the katana. Yes, sir. Yo. My God. Okay, this that that's just yeah. All right. What? Everybody has that tattoo, right? I don't even know what's happening. Don Hung. <laughs> that is sick. Ooh. Lord? What is Farazan doing here? interesting things going on here a lot of things um i'm definitely interested about this archer character uh, he looks kind of sick he looks kind of too sick <laughs> dude that, that looks amazing but yeah i'm definitely excited i hope this game is like at least 
knows what they're doing because there is a, there is a place for it right now. There is a place for it in the gotcha space that it needs it needs to come. It needs to come and it needs to challenge every single thing and it needs to make it so um people play this game as well as the others because it does look great. I think I think they got a lot of cool male characters. Like they've got Sephiroth, they've got Archer. Um This lady's cool. She has like the yin yang stuff. Um But yeah, that that was that. Okay. Um there's one more trailer for like a character demo that I won't wear. Tea and snacks as usual, please. Coming right up. Tea. A steadfast companion to the people of Jinjo. Thank you, we find our young monk laboring at the tea house. The tea's as good as ever. Oh. Not the cat. mindfulness and integrity. Diligently she earns her keep. Far from the mountain of her upbringing. I wish she didn't need to do that. Cat's always down on their feet. I'd say, but alas, this cannot compare to the Yin Lu tea. How do you make that tea? Enlighten me, please. I'll serve it as you wish. Oh, such nerve. I'll have you know how its exquisiteness transcends your meager comprehension. Meager? To begin with, one must go the morning dew from lotus leaves on the heads of gull puffs. Without agitating those delicate creatures, for the water won't taste as fine. Then, only the pristine shoots from elusive teal frill nests perched okay. atop treacherous peaks will suffice. Looks like I'm watching like a TV show. A weird one. Finally, it feels like I'm watching a TV must show. Be roasted with ancient urea wood. I'm watching like one of those filler episodes. That's cool. Here you are. Oh, she's about to do the thing. Come forth. Ooh. Serenity. Going crazy. Clarity. Tranquility. Takes a little too much. Whoa. Okay, that's that is cool. Wait, that is so sick. And explosion. That is cool. I will admit, that was pretty cool. And that's why it's impossible to. Sir, here's the Yunlu tea, as you instructed. How do you like it? Oh my God, it's so good! How did you make it? This, this is the <laughs> no. <laughs> another day, another progress. Hey, oh, Last week. you again. Stop, stop, come back. That's cool. I like that. Okay, they've got they've got a little humor in there. Um, yeah, it's definitely, definitely cool to see. Um, I'm not sure how canon these, you know, other primal creatures are. I hope the world is just littered with primal creatures. Like just grizzly bears that are like 10 foot long freaking uh, primal saber tooth tigers, mammoths. That would be cool. That would be cool if they had like stuff like that. I don't know. Maybe you could tame them. And, I don't know. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to react to this and see what you guys think also in the comment section down below will this game is it going to pop off is it going to be good are you guys going to play it if it is um did you guys sign up for the closed beta test if you did let me know if you got in and that's pretty much it